are a group of paranormal explorers. Our dedicated team travel all over the UK in search of answers. <gasps> answers to the question, is there really life after death? Join us on our mission to discover the truth. This once grand building was originally built as a family home and it remained a family home for over a hundred years. Like many homes of its kind, it was requisitioned during World War I by the military and became a home for injured servicemen. After the war, the house was returned to its owners. The house was eventually gifted to an organisation which cared for orphan children. With its many rooms spread over several floors, it had the capacity to home up to 60 children and staff. Once more, at the outbreak of World War II, the orphanage was again commissioned as a hospital and the children were evacuated. At the end of the war, the children returned and it remained an orphanage until the 1990s. The house is now privately owned. Some renovation work has been done, but work has stopped and the house has been left to decay. We heard several stories about unexplained things happening to workers around the house. From being touched on the shoulder to hearing strange noises when nobody else was there. So we decided we would go and investigate and find out for ourselves. We arrived at the orphanage around 10pm. Investigating along with myself was Becky Kay and first timer Simon. We had explored the site previously during the day so we knew our way around. We set up a video camera at the bottom of the stairs. We called these stairs the Grand Staircase as it was indeed very grand. And we also placed a light up ball on one of the stairs. Once we had done this we made our way to start the investigation in the large hall which we had named the ballroom. Right, you ready? Yeah. Is there anybody in here that wants to talk to us? We mean you no harm. If you once lived here and you're still here, could you please make a sound to let us know that you're still here? Or if you could walk in towards our green light that my friend is holding. If you walk towards that, it will change colour. Can you hear that? Yeah. My name's My name's Becky. Are you a child that used to live here? Are you here at the orphanage? Or perhaps you're a soldier that was here in the young man that was in the hospital? You just let us know that you're still here. Becky's camera had just picked up the sound of a faint EVP. Here it is again with the volume amplified. Please, 
Once again, Becky's camera just picked up the sound of three unexplained knocks. Please, if there's anybody here with us, could you please make a knocking sound? Or if you could use your voice to speak to us? You mean you no know harm? What was that? If there's anybody here, can you touch me? Can you touch me lightly on the shoulder? I'm just sitting there over here. I don't need to touch me, right? <laughs> just tell them. If you could just touch me, no one else. If you could just tap me on the shoulder. Or well, again, if you could come towards our green light. My friend is standing over there on the other side of the room and there's some glass there. Can you tap on the glass? Is that an open window? No, it's not like that. That's my breath in front of the camera that you can see. Can you use your voice to speak to us? Can you tell us your name? Or could you whisper your name into our little red light out by the stairs? Well, there's a wire hanging down from the ceiling right in front of me. Can you move that for me? Can you swing it from side to side? We continued watching the hanging wire for a while, but it did not move. So we then decided to move on to a different part of the house. Straight on. I think the yellow room is in one of them ones. Mm -hmm. I think this one with a big mirror in. Oh, yeah. Is there anybody in here with us? Could you please make a sound? Could you use your voice to speak to us? Was that a bird? I 
But you don't get very many people visiting you at night time here, do you? We have come to see you, so please could you make us, let, let us know that you're here. Can you make a sound? What was that? Just stood on something. Oh, f Literally wet myself. We didn't seem to be getting any response in this room, so we decided to move on. We headed out into the corridor, and as we started walking down, we heard a strange banging sound. Unfortunately, this was not picked up on our camera. We then decided to stay in this area and try calling out. That was you that's just made a sound. Can you do it again for us, please? So we keep hearing footsteps. Yeah, I feel like it's dead. Sorry, do you want to get up here with a voice recorder? That was you making footstep sounds. Could you please do it again? Did you hear that? What, after saying? Yeah, at the same time. And again. We kept hearing sounds which sounded like footsteps but unfortunately they were too faint to be picked up on our equipment. We eventually decided to move on from here and we stopped at the next door we came to along the corridor. Yeah. This room felt peaceful and calm and after calling out for around 10 minutes and getting no response, we decided to move on. I've got a feeling, I don't know why, that if we went up and sat upstairs on the balcony mm -hmm. bit, I don't know, i just got a feeling about that. Okay. Plus we can keep an eye on our equipment at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah. When we reached the grand staircase, we made our way to the first floor to continue our investigation. This part of the house seemed to have a different feel to the part we had just come from. I felt a bit uneasy, and I'm sure Becky did too. Simon, who had not spoken much, did not offer us any clues to how he was feeling. He did, however, say he would prefer not to be on camera. We sat down on the first floor landing, made ourselves comfy, and continued on with the investigation. Can you swing the chandelier for us? Can you make it rock from side to side? Yeah. 
as mães. As mães. Yeah. Oh, sounds like a heartbeat. Oh, what heartbeat? Yeah. Yeah. Why is that just switched off? Thought it can move. Yeah. We had just heard the camera, which was at the bottom of the stairs, stop recording. This only happens if the record button is pressed or the tape comes to an end. We left it running filming the staircase, and it has an hour tape and a two hour battery. Therefore, as it had only been recording for around 20 minutes, there was no reason for it to have stopped. If that was you that made that sound just now, if that was you, could you please do it again for us, but louder, so we know it's definitely you. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do that for me, please?
We had left a voice recorder running at the bottom of the stairs, and it had picked up these knocks. It also picked up the sound of something being thrown just before the knocking sounds. footsteps. That was you making that noise. Can you please do it closer to us? So we know that it's you. As I said before, can you do this? Do that for me, please. As I was explaining that I'd just heard a knocking sound coming from downstairs, the camera picked up another faint knock. We continued sitting quietly and almost immediately I heard another knock. Although Becky had not heard the knocking sound, I had heard it clearly, and this was followed by what sounded like footsteps which were coming from beside Becky. That was you, can you do that again please? Did you f***ing hear that? Did you hear that? Voices. I just heard what sounded like muttering voices. Unfortunately, this was not picked up on our equipment. However, the voice recorder, which was at the bottom of the stairs, picked up this EVP shortly after I finished speaking. Voices.
Just before I ask, did you hear that, we heard what sounded like a child's voice, and after I ask, we heard an unexplained knocking sound. Both noises were picked up on the camera, however the possible child's voice was so faint that it can only just be heard on the replay. If they're going to do something, I just wish they'd do it so it's f***ing obvious, not f***ing all the way from us. Maybe they're kids and they're shy. Do you want to come and play with our little ball on the stairs? There's a, there's a ball on the stairs that lights up. Do you want to play with that? Things seemed to have settled down and we decided it was a good time to end the investigation. We packed up our equipment and made our way downstairs. When I checked the camera, which was at the bottom of the stairs, it had switched off. So I checked and it still had 38 minutes left on the battery and 14 minutes left on tape and the camera was working fine, so there was no reason for it to have stopped and switched off when it did. We experienced a fair few unexplained things on the investigation, but were these things paranormal or did they have a reasonable explanation? We will leave it up to you to decide.